going on everybody welcome back to the channel and today we're gonna be kicking off season number two at home taking on nebraska they got a couple of guys in the mid 90s we have one guy in the 90s that's sharp dawkins everybody else is in the high to mid 80s low 80s some of our starters are even in the 60s but we got to play some of the top tier talent that's available in college football we played a lot of fcs schools if you will and it did not help us get to a ball game we went 11 and 1 not 1 and 11 but 11 and 1 and we did not make it to a ball game believe it or not so we are going to be playing some better schools to kick things off and hopefully we do not get embarrassed as shaw goes right up the seam catches the football and that's going to give them a fresh set of 10. they go backwards two on first down so we're looking at second down and 12 from the 25 yard line abrams fires that thing that pass will be broken up and now they're looking at third down and so we'll send a four-man rush we force a quick pass. It's caught by Battle. He's able to battle his way for a first down. We had him a yard or two shy, but with all that strength, he's able to get the first down. Battle to the right side. He's going to get brought down by Peters. Second down and six. Abrams looking, firing. That pass caught by Shaw. Is that going to be a first down? No, he did not get a foot in bounds. So third down and six. Up the gut in Battle gets all the way down to the two-yard line. First down and goal. So quick pass to the flat, and that pass will fall incomplete. Now they got all the big boys out there on the field. They're going to throw it to the left side. Caught by Kane, and the Cornhuskers take an early seven-point lead. So we have Zeke Davenport a yard deep in his own end. So up to the 20, up to the 25, to the 30, and pushed out of bounds at the Georgia Southern 35-yard line, and that's where our offense will take over. Heisman hopeful, Jonathan K throws it, and his first pass is caught by Walker with one flip of the wrist. We're inside enemy territory. We run the ball to the left side, loss of three. We're going to roll right. Cade sets his feet, lets it fly. Caught by Naismith, who we put in the slot. He's a tight end that can do it all for you in the passing game, and he shows that right there. We throw it over the middle, intercepted by Scott. We overthrow Zeke Davenport, and Scott works his way up to the 17-yard line before Naismith can bring him down. So far, it's down in 10 for the 17 yard run. Abrams has it, fires, and that pass will be intercepted. McCauley gets in there for the pick. We have two true freshmen at corner McCauley and Moss on the other side. First down and 10. K to the left side, and Kay's going to work his way upfield, and that's going to result in a first down using his feet. On the 12 yard line, K to the back of the end zone, caught by Nate Smith. Touchdown, Georgia Southern. And that's our first touchdown of the season. Hopefully there is some more where that came from. So we're going to send this one deep, and the kick return is going to be received by Butler at the 10-yard line. He's going to find a lane or make a lane as he runs a man over to the 50 to the 40 in Georgia Southern Territory. Say good night. So they, again, take the lead right back. 14 to 7 is now the score. It's Zeke Davenport is up to the 20-yard line. No more than that. First down and 10. Play fake. Cade looking over the middle. That pass caught by Naismith. And that's going to be a gain of 15 for our big tight end. First down and 10 for the 35. We're going to run the ball more. And Keon Moore is going to work his way upfield. Gain of just three. Second down and seven. Got Campbell in the backfield. He was one of the best athletes in the nation. We converted him to running back. And it looks pretty good out there. First down and 10. I'll give him the football again. Campbell going to try to get around the outside. He does so for a game of four before he gets brought down. Play fake. Cade runs left. Throws it left. Caught by Zeke Davenport who has a first down inside the 25. Cade rolling right. Throws it. And that pass broken up at the line of scrimmage. Second down and 10. I'll run the option. Going to pitch it, but the ball is loose. And Moore has to come back and recover the fumble before the Cornhuskers can do so. So start the second quarter now. Cade has it. Going to roll to the right side. Looking downfield. Now he's going to take off and run. And he's going to pick up the first down by Billy Eyelash. Three rushes, 22 yards for our quarterback. Now Cade looking downfield. Throws it to Naismith as he gets hit. And the hit forces the pass and not find its target. You can see his career numbers. That includes the few passes thrown this game. 35 touchdowns, only 8 interceptions. That's pretty darn good if you ask me. Campbell to the left side, picks up 5. Third down to 5. He's going to throw it. Caught by Stewart in the end zone. That's our second touchdown pass of the game. We tied up at 14-0. They get the ball to battle. 
Battle still turning those legs over. He's going to pick up a gain of 11 as they work their way up to the 31 yard line. They give to him again. Battle is loose to the 40, to the 50 in the Georgia Southern Territory. Gets brought down by McCauley at the 39 yard line. Abrams' pass will fall incomplete. Might have got away with some pass interference there. Battle makes the catch. And now they're looking at third down and fourth from the 33 yard line. They get the ball to Battle. And Battle is going to get shut down. So our defense holds. They got to set up for a field goal. The 46-yard attempt is on its way. It has the length, but not the accuracy. So it's still a 14-14 ball game. Cade has it. Cade, under some pressure, throws it to Zeke Davenport, and that pass will fall incomplete. We get to the back foot out. We're going to roll right. We're going to throw it to Taylor, and Taylor's going to haul it in. Move those chains, and we're inside Nebraska territory. On the 44-yard line, we get the ball to Keon Moore, and Moore's going to pick up a first down by the hairs of a chin, chin, chin. We get the ball to Campbell with a one-two punch, and he's going to work his way upfield for a first down to the 22. Rolling left is Cade, throws it, Naismith, touchdown reception number two, touchdown pass by Cade, number three for him. Abrams fires it, that pass caught by Shaw, and Shaw's going to pick up a gain of six. Nebraska burns their first timeout. They throw it over the middle. That pass broken up by Peters. And now it's going to be third down and fourth from the 28 yard line. And then run the ball, battle. Battle gets uphill to the 40, fighting for every inch. He's going to muster up a nice gain as they work their way up to the 45 yard line. Play fake. Abrams pass caught by Knox. That's going to be a gain of four. Dropping back and pass one more time. Abrams looking downfield. That pass will fall incomplete. So third down and six. 51 seconds on the clock to see what they can do. And they're going to find Shaw as they get up to the 40-yard line. So they're just outside of striking distance. That pass caught. But Dawkins is there for the strip. And Peters is there for the recovery. So we have 42 seconds on the clock to try to do something. We're going to run the ball, try to surprise this Cornhusker defense, and we're going to pick up nine yards, and we fumble the football out of bounds, which stops the clock, and we maintain possession. Under some pressure, the pass is caught by Zeke Davenport. He's going to get to the 30-yard line and brought down at the 26. So the pass arrived a little bit late because the pressure got to our quarterback, but Zeke made a fantastic play. Now you have a chance to add to our lead. Kate looking downfield, rolls all the way right to the sideline, and Stewart has the football, but a timely hit knocks that thing loose. Cade, under pressure again, rolls right again, throws it to the right side, caught, and then dropped by Stewart as another timely hit knocks the football loose. And with five seconds on the clock, we're going to try a field goal. The kick is up, and the kick is good. So that's going to take us. To the second half of play, we are up by 10, and we get the football first. There goes Moss, and Moss going to work his way up to about the 33, make it the 32-yard line. Get that thing to Campbell. Campbell can't quite get out of that tackle, and now we're looking at second down and eight. Okay, drops back. He's going to roll to the left side, still rolling. Now he throws it. That pass caught by Walker. Walker inside Cornhusker territory and brought that up to Nebraska 36-yard line. We run the ball with Kenyon Moore, and Moore right up the gut, and that's going to result in a first down to work up to the 26-yard line. Cade rolling right, has a man open, that's Naismith, touchdown, not one, not two, but three for Naismith and four for Jonathan Cade through the air. Our offense is looking pretty, pretty good, if you ask me. Abrams looking downfield, that pass caught. Atkins makes the catch, and that's going to be a first down for Nebraska up to the Georgians, up to their own, excuse me, 32-yard line. Battle going backwards, and now it's going to be second down. They fake the toss. They throw it over the middle, and that pass will fall incomplete. Blake could hang on to it. Third down and 10. Four-man rush by Georgia Southern. Not going to get close to the quarterback, and Shaw gets open, and that's going to be a reception for a first down. That pass, though, dropped. Two many drop passes for Nebraska today. Peters with the stop on Battle. And now they're going to be looking at third down. They need four yards. They're going to win the ball battle again. He gets smacked, and that run play will come up a little bit short. So we take over. More to the 30. More to the 35-yard line. Give me some more of that every single carry. We're going to win the ball more. And again, Nebraska's like, no, not this time. Martin is there for the stop. His second tackle for loss. Second down to 13. K going to roll right. Still rolling. Throws it to Taylor and overthrows him quite badly. Third down and 13 from the 33-yard line. Going to roll to the right side. Cade has it. 
Still rolling. That decides to keep it, and he's not going to get the first down. So Nebraska takes over. They fake the run. Abrams has it. Throws it to Kane. Kane makes the catch, and they're up to the Georgia Southern 30-yard line. So down by 17. They can use a touchdown on this drive. Battle goes up the gut. He's going to get brought down. After a gain of six, it's going to be third, that's second down and four, excuse me. Jumping the gun just a little bit, breaks the tackle, battles like we're not going to see a third down, sir. Not going to happen. They get up to the 10 yard line, make it the nine. So first down and goal. That pass will be caught, and Atkins gets into the end zone, and that's exactly what Nebraska needed. A quick drive that ends with seven points up on the scoreboard. That's exactly what they got. That part from five yards deep in his own end zone gets up to the 22 yard line. So this should be the last play of the third quarter. We get the ball to Moore, who's going to get brought down after he picks up a first down. So fourth quarter action now. Campbell to the left side. And Campbell, he's going to pick up again, or maybe a yard, make it three. My bad, I mean the short change. Second down and seven. That pass will fall incomplete. And now we're looking at third and seven. We empty the back with five receivers in the formation. Cade looking for Taylor, who makes his second reception. And it comes up big. He was our second receiver last year. Our second main receiving option last year. And now he's our fifth receiving option. Really our sixth if you count Naismith as a receiver. That pass will be caught by Davenport. And we get up to the 10-yard line. So first and goal. The run the ball with Campbell. And Campbell goes nowhere fast, kind of just happy he got back to the line of scrimmage. K looking down, Phil pump faking. Now he's going to roll right. He's going to throw it. No, he's going to run it, and he runs it to about the seven-yard line. So we got to get seven yards hit again to the end zone. Cade has all days. They rush only two guys. Got two guys spying him. He's still waiting for somebody to get over. Throws it to Taylor, who shows you why he's now the fifth string receiver as he drops that pass. That would have been a touchdown. So, we got to set up for another field goal. The kick is up, and the kick is good. So, Nebraska, they got to score quickly. Knox, he gets up past the 40 yard line to about the 44. So, they find themselves down by 13. Abrams fires it deep, and that pass will be broken up by Peters and fall to the grass. So Nebraska, they fake it to battle, and that pass was not a very good as it falls incomplete. Third down, now they're going to throw it to Atkins, who brings it in. Took a nasty hit, but he is able to hang on to the football, and the drive shall continue. Shaw to the outside, makes the catch, but not in bounds. They throw it to the right side again, caught by a battle. Great tackle right there, and now it's going to be third down and ten. Abrams has the football, throws it to the flat. And again, off the mark. So fourth and 10 now from the 34-yard line. They throw it and again, another incompletion. And now we are just one first down away from winning the first game of the season in season number two. And Campbell to the right side goes nowhere. We get the ball to Moore. And Moore, he's able to pick up some yards. It's going to be a gain of four. So from the 38, he needs six yards on third down. He pitches to Moore. And Moore is going to have the first down by the skin of his teeth. We were able to milk the clock from there. We beat Nebraska. Last year, we finished in the top 22, finished 11-1, no bowl game. Hopefully, we can get to a bowl game with being teams like Nebraska. But, again, the schedule may get a little bit tougher from here on out. But a win versus Nebraska is a win versus Nebraska. I'm happy with the Hopefully, you guys are as well. Blake Naismith, he's going to be up for Titan of the Year, the John Mackey Award, because we are going to get him the football. He is, I think, our best pass catcher. Of course, Zeke Davenport might be the home run threat. But this man consistently gets open for us talking about Blake Naismith. So I'm going to find a way to get him the football early and often. But that's going to do it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope that the rest of the day is the best of the day. And until we meet again, my friends, peace, love, hot sauce.